You have the heart of a 25-year-old. You lie. Okay, okay, so not quite. But you definitely got the spirit of one. I cannot believe you are still single. You and my mother, both. Man, you're too busy saving lives, I guess. Maybe so. I heard what you did for Kendall in the ambulance. Wow. I mean, that must have been pretty intense. It was that. Well, really bonds two people when they share an experience like that. Palmer and they in the league. Kendall's my patient, Opal. i do the same for you. Jake, hey, I want to talk to you about Kara. All right. Look, I want to see her safe and everything. The truth is, I really, I really shouldn't be involved. Oh, you got your marriage to think about. I understand. But luckily, you've got me. You know, I say that to myself every single day. It's funny you should say that. I'm serious. I got an idea. I'm going to keep her safe from the guy in Mexico. And she's on board. And her brother, mostly. What exactly are you up to? We're going to kill her. Uh... Look, I don't know what Jake has told you, um, but there's something that I, I just found out. Something that I think that you should know. No, no, let me guess. Uh, Doctors Without Borders called, and they said thanks, but no thanks. And gosh, you've decided to stay in Pine Valley indefinitely, am I right? <laughs> I, I can't even talk to you. You just hear what you want to hear. What I would like to hear is the sound of your feet beating you out of town. When I'm gone, I guess we'll both be glad for the change. I know I will. So you think Griffin is what? Interested in you? Uh, I don't know. But I can't say that I blame him if he was. Well, I certainly haven't been giving off any signals. I mean... Zach only died a few months ago. No, 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 of course, of course. And nobody would ever think that. Y you know what? This is none of my business. Uh, Griffin and I are... He's my doctor. And he did an amazing thing to save me. Look, he, he's obviously an excellent doctor, and I'm nothing but grateful for what he's done. Anybody who keeps you around longer is a hero in my book. It's very nice to hear, Reverend. Uh-oh. I'll get out of here, don't worry. I'll see you soon for that dinner. Yes, yes. Okay. <sighs> you were talking about me? I like that. Yes, mm. we were, kind of. Mostly we were talking about me. <laughs> what do you think about me being released from the hospital? What about it? Well, you said my tests are all coming out good, right? And I'm feeling stronger. So, am I ready to go home? Yeah, you are. Just know that every second that ticks off that watch is one second closer to you being with Emma again. And I'll be with, right there with you, no matter how long it takes. What did I do to deserve you? What would I do without you? Well, you're not going to have to find out. Because I'll be there with you, no matter what. Kids, go home, all right? There's nothing out here for us to find. No, the idea is to make this thing happen like yesterday, which means I need the death certificate. So you call me back, and I, and, and I mean, like, within the hour, okay? Right. Hey, who died? Oh, uh, no one yet. Well, what does that mean? Who's sick? Amanda, um... I don't know how much Jake has told you uh, about Kara's history. You mean why she left him? Yes. He told me about the drug guy she didn't save. Well, did he also tell you that his people are still after her? No. Well, I'm not surprised. You see, he's doing everything he can. He's bending over backwards to make sure that their past doesn't interfere with your future. You do understand that, right? Fine, but what, what does that have to do with someone dying? It sounds really nutsy, but I'm working on this plan to fake Carolyn Finn's death. And I need you in on it, because I need Jake's help. It, it, but faking her death, that's crazy. Well, it's no crazier than letting her leave town on some bus with a bullseye on her back. These people want her dead, Amanda. 
and they don't come any more motivated. Oh, my God. Listen, if we decide we're going to go through with this thing, Griffin and I will do all the work. It's not Jake's idea. I give you my word. Dad, um, these guys, if they found Kara, they'd really kill her? In a heartbeat. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, my goodness. I said I would help you with the paperwork. Yes, no, no, Mom, I, I went no, to the I talk to Ted. You told me what they were uh, cooking up there. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty nutty, huh? Yeah, very nutty. You think you can pull it off? Ted can do anything. It's good. Yeah. So, have any ideas what I should wear for my funeral? Well, if I had any idea that you're in this kind of danger, I, I know. Think. That's why I left. You know, I say goodbye to Carolyn Finneretti, and I didn't think I'd be going to her funeral. Yes, yeah, she was something else, huh? Girl definitely had spunk. <laughs> she was brave. She was courageous. Bigger than life. But she would have had to have been, because she was my... my wife. Yeah. And now she's gonna be gone. Yeah, well, it's just a name anyway. Just a name you came up with to get more out of life. To She's nothing. You're, you're everything she ever was. And, uh, and more. I feel so empty in here without her. I think this is the first time that I, I sat down and just stopped since she disappeared. Maybe I'm just afraid of the whole thing just catching up to me. We'll find her. I know we will. Hey, Dirk. Before we start, um, are you sure that you want to hire me? I can refer you to much more experienced divorce attorneys. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not looking for a shark. Reese and I are going to figure this out together. I just want a friend to help. Whatever you need. Besides, Caleb says you're good. He said that? Yeah, and if he knew how to express himself, he would tell you, too. <laughs> good. Well, uh, I'm just hoping that we can make this as quick and painless as possible. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, have you discussed custody issues at all? No, not yet. But I don't, I don't think it'll be a problem. I mean, Gabrielle's been with me this whole time, and, and I was the birth mother. Mm -hmm. Well, um, very often people can go into these situations with the best of intentions, but... Things can get a little messy, especially when there's a child involved. Yeah, I don't think that'll happen. Well, listen, I'm hoping that I'm wrong, but you need to be prepared just in case, okay? Once Reese is faced with permanently losing her rights to Gabrielle and to Miranda, things could change. I bet you're glad to be getting rid of me. Mm. I am not a good patient. What makes you say that? Um, let's see. Okay, I am... Constantly disappearing from the hospital, mm. even when my life is in jeopardy. And I almost got you killed in an ambulance. Okay, there's that. As long as we're being honest, I bet you're glad to be getting away from me, too. I won't be checking on you 24-7, telling you to get rest, listening to your heart. Mm. Yeah, you know, you, you do have a good point. You are definitely a pain. I will give you that. And so are you. Great. Mm. Okay, so then it works out. There you go. To being a pain in the ass. Being a pain in the ass. Yes. You're not going to be getting rid of me that quickly. I know. I know you have to make sure I don't slip. You made a promise to keep me safe. And I intend to keep it. Mm. 
No, I, I don't remember the name of the immigration agent that I talked to. Listen, I just need you all to know that I was mistaken and it was all a big misunderstanding. No, I, I don't want to give my name. I just... No, but please do not put... Hello? Dr. Max, extension 456. Dr. Max. It means I can never go back to Doctors Without Borders. Once Carolyn dies, that court will be cut for good. Yeah, well, you know, there, there are other organizations that allow you to do that kind of, you know, medicine. Yeah. Hmm. Guys? Yep. Sorry. Uh, you seen Griffin? Um, I'm sure he's making his rounds. It's important. It's just I've got some ideas. I want to run by all of you. It's about how to get the information of Carolyn's death into Mexico without making it look like a plan. Dr. Uh, Kara Castillo? Yes. Agent Trumbull, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Work with the Homeland Security Division. We're investigating certain charges that have been leveled against you, men. Uh, there's got to be some kind of mistake. Okay, what kind of charges? Passport fraud, and there's been no mistake. We believe that you're in this country illegally. You're under federal arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Sir, is that this totally... is none of your business, sir. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. 